we do it without even noticing it. There's some kind of innate knowing that it improves the quality of our lives to be around plants. St. John's wort and chamomile were these two herbs that allowed me to remember that like life it still happens and they just brought in this positivity that I felt like I was really without. I had really incredible memories of my great grandma Lupe coming over to my house in Phoenix when I was a really young kid and kind of boiling herbs on the stove. We had just yerba buena growing wild in our backyard and she saw it and recognized it as something that was edible that we could drink and and even though I must have been really young that really stuck with me for some reason I'm Carla Vargas Frank I'm an herbalist I have a private practice here in Tucson and I also do education herbal education Herbalism is using um, plant material from everything from food to ritual to medicine. That can be vibrational, it can be more allopathic, but I think just kind of using the natural world as a way to balance and, and heal oneself. Healing resource for the community. So when I sit down with a client, it's gonna take at least two hours. I want to look at their, you know, their history of, of health. I want to look at their um, family's health. I also want to, you know, hear about the experiences that they've had growing up, whether or not they've come to me for a physical issue or a mental issue um, that may have affected how they live in the world. And so then when I get that initial knowledge from that person, I can sort of kind of piece together sort of like a team of herbs that I think would be helpful to that person in this time. And it's kind of like setting up two friends, you know, you're like, well, this, these plants have these virtues and these strengths and, and this person is needing or yearning for these aspects in their life to bring balance, so I want them to meet. herbal medicine and the healing philosophies that come out of a lot of these traditions look at people as a, as a whole and I think that, that people are really yearning for that. I've had experiences where I've gone to a practitioner like a western doctor and instead of them asking me what I'm dealing with or what I'm going through or how I'd like to deal with what I'm going through they would tell me and um, so many times those things didn't work. It started with mental health for sure because um, when I was living in Seattle, I struggled a lot. I felt very lost at that time. I felt very depressed and very lethargic. I had no health insurance. I started to think about where my resources were and what I felt like I could obtain. And it was a lot of herbs like St. John's wort and chamomile and things like that. And they just brought in this kind of springtime feeling of kind of growing and being like, you know, I'm capable again of leaving my house and I feel like I want to do these things. I think there may be a new awareness of connecting back to the earth and back to our ancestral traditions, especially among, I think, women and queer folks um, and like non-binary people. I think we live in a world where we feel really secluded and sometimes ostracized. I think that people are feeling disempowered by being looked at sort of in pieces. And so I think the similarity between a lot of these traditions, no matter where they come from, is that we're looking for the root. We're digging for where it started. And it's impossible really, I think, to find that root without 
you know, looking at all of the all of the things and the situations and the environments that have brought us to this point. This is something that people can afford, they can access. There are less kind of gatekeepers in terms of them at least working towards solutions. And this is a way that people can take their health into their own hands.